So for the fourth time in 2022, it's time to get down and dirty with the Outlaws here at Volusia Speedway Park. Out of turn number four, they come. Green flag is going away from starter Dave Farney. This one's underway. Into turn number one, it's going to be Brandon Overton, and there's Kyle Hammer up on two wheels. Got a good run off of two. Kyle Hammer pulls the trigger, hits bullseye. He'll lead down the back stretch for the first time. Overton and Hopper Sue, Mann and McDowell going at it for position number three. Thornton watching from fifth, and then it's Whitener in sixth. Lap one will go to Kyle Hammer. And looky, looky. Ricky Thornton Jr. had third, three wide for the number three spot. They stay that way, and oh, Brandon Overton for the second night has powertrain problems. Oh, no. Brandon Overton will be denied tonight. Kyle Hammer, Ricky Thornton Jr., Chris Madden, Dale McDowell, Blair Norder, fan Mark Whitener out of four, or they come green in the air. We're back to racing. And now Hammer is going to earn his keep in that seat because he has got some of the best breathing down his neck, starting off with Ricky Thornton Jr. Open the night winner in the Dirt Car Nationals. Chris Madden, the current point leader. Dale McDowell, open the night winner for the World of Outlaws, all chasing the rookie of Kyle Hammer. Did a great job that time of sealing off that lead. At the end, you'll see Dale McDowell there because McDowell is not hitting the holes, taking a short way around, conserving the race car. One of the smartest drivers in dirt late model racing right there in that 17 F. That's why he's won so many big races. That's why he won the opener here at Volusia. And caution is out. Caution is on the speedway. Ford, everybody anticipating. He's on the hammer. Thornton goes high, Matt goes low. He can't protect both sides. What's he do? He's going to go up top. Now he's going to go center groove and try and block them both. Here comes Mark Whitener just threaded the needle. Got a Walmart two-for-one special out of turn number two. Oh, Mark Whitener, I'll tell you what, he loves this race. Right now he's going for the lead on Hammer. And Mark Whitener, who has been dismal, he said we've sucked this week. When you pull away from guys like Mark Whitener, Chris Madden, and even, oh, it looks like Whitener got a piece of the wall back there, Rick, and there goes Madden by for And I saw some smoke, too. Yes, and, and as I mentioned, Hammer pulling away from these drivers, that shows you how strong he is right now. Whitener slowing. I got a feeling Whitener has some issues. Yeah, I, I don't know if he may have got a piece of the wall there on the back straightaway. It looks like something's coming out of the right rear. We'll keep our eye on it, though, as McDowell goes by for third. Try two tenths in a second. Matt within car lengths, and caution comes out. If he can pull it off as a rookie with the World of Outlaws Case Late Models, still a lot of time to go, and you better believe his father, Don, his mother, Bonnie, and his dog, Riker, are all watching from the pits. Here we go. Three wide for the lead. Oh, and Dale McDowell took advantage of a bouncing Kyle Hammer. Kyle Hammer just surrendered the lead for the first time. Now Madden's going to go after Hammer. Hammer is going to get left out to dry on the outside here. Here comes Dale McDowell, your new leader at lap 18. Madden second. Now Devin Moran going to third. Does that surprise you, Ray? Not at all. I have seen that movie, and it's one heck of a syndicated rerun. You got the inside track to your second straight Gator and Durkar National Championship. Oh, look out. Trouble. Hammer goes around. Everybody. Oh! Brent Larson got him. On a turn number four, they come green flag in the air. We're back underway. So McDowell, Matt Moran, Thornton. A 29 to Lanigan. And Whitener must have heard us talking. He's coming. Yeah, he's on the top side of turn number four, and he is flying now. Whatever gremlins were in that car early on, I think they've left. Well, at least they've taken a nap, if nothing else. It's Dale McDowell showing the way. Chris Madden, Devin Moran, Mark Whitener, Ricky Thornton, Daryl Lanigan, Ashton Winger, and Tyler Bruning having another good run. So we sit with 17 to go still a long ways away, but Stranger things have happened, and Whitener is looking good for podium. Mark Whitener, after slapping the wall, maybe it got the car set where it needs to be now. I think so. Sometimes when you slap the wall and bend the part just right, hey, that thing's going to work really good, and it's obviously paying Whoa. off. Look at him go around Moran here. Yeah, and there was not much room to spare between those two cars. Moran's not going away quietly. He wants a piece of Whitener. He wants podium. That's good. Good battle right now for the number three spot as they chase Chris Smokey Men. Dale McDowell just in cruise control, baby. 
What a comeback story, Dale McDowell. Four months had not been in a race car until he came to Volusia in January for the Sunshine Nationals on January 19th for practice. Had not been in a car in four months. It was dealing with life-threatening issues and beat it and won. And he is leading this one. What a great comeback story. And, and, and just a way to put that out of your mind and go out and do what he's done for so many years, drive race cars and win races. I mean, a lot of people, it, it, it would it would be difficult to try to put all that stuff out of your mind to try to focus on what you've done for so long. And he, you know, shows why he's a champion and a multi-time winner. I Traffic. haven't heard that saying in a long time. That's old hat. My old. dad, rest of his soul, used to say that. Really? Yes. You can say that, that's old hat. Well, he raised a good little boy right here. I was never little. I think I was four and four feet tall. <laughs> oh, gosh. And that caution comes out with ten laps to go. Here we go. <laughs> we are ten laps oh, away boy. from the finish. Can McDowell hold on? Will Moran continue the shine? Does Madden grab it? Or does Whitener shock him? Let's find out. Green is out. Side by side, Moran with Madden and three wide with Mark Whitener. Oh, Whitener drifted up, didn't know that Madden was there. Madden got on the binder, saved the race car, and lost wholesale spots. Give the benefit of the doubt to Chris Madden that he had presence of mind not to wreck that car. And it's getting business picking up back there from around about 10. Up front, McDowell looking solid, Moran. Darrell Lanigan slowly, methodically grabbing a podium spot. Lanigan up the third. I bet he'd like to see a caution right now because I think that Longhorn's ready to go. Green so far. Car slowing down. Coming down for lap 36. McDowell, Moran, and Lanigan. Whitener and Madden. 36 goes on the Dirt Vision scoreboard. Strickler limps to pit road. It's going to get interesting here at Volusia Speedway Park. We're coming down for the two to go. Devin Moran was six tenths of a second behind. Let's check the margin here at lap 38. Eight tenths. They're not going to get the traffic in time, I don't think, for Moran to do it, so he's going to have to do it on his own accord out here. Close the gap again on McDowell. Land again watching it all take place from third. Madden has gotten back up to fourth. Bruning has gotten fifth. White flag in the air, final time around, BSP. Now McDowell's got to be careful. Here comes Devin Moran. It's not over. Will Moran try and pin McDowell down low? McDowell on the bottom. Moran gives it everything he has. He'll come up short. The Mac Daddy wins for the second time at Volusia this year. Second will go to Devin Moran. Third will go to Daryl Lanigan. Fourth to Chris Madden. Fifth to Tyler Bruning. Mark Whitener, Ashton Winger, Tanner English, Brandon Shepard, and Kyle Bronson. He will climb out victorious here tonight. The winner of night number four of the World of Outlaws case, late models, the Mac Daddy Dale McDowell.